So, all right, hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're checking out Silent Hill 2 Remake on the Steam Deck. Uh, this just came out, it has actually been out for a couple of days now if you purchase the deluxe pack, but I just got to test this now. And uh, surprisingly, it runs quite well, depending on what you really expected out of the game. So, long story short, it runs at 30 FPS most of the time. Now the beginning area it will run below 30 FPS, even it will run at like 9 or 10 FPS, but as soon as you get into the actual town, um, it starts to, to run a little bit better, um, probably because there's a lot of fog, uh, so the game doesn't have to render um, so much uh, things. But uh, right off the bat we're going to start with this FSR 3 set to balanced at 800p. And um, as you can see, it, it's, tr it's trying to keep a stable 30 FPS. Now it will dip to 28, 29, but with FSR set to balanced or performance, it will keep above 30 FPS. Um, now, I did do an improvised benchmark that I'm going to show right now, so you can see what the quality looks like between the four different presets. Um, I wouldn't say that going past uh, low preset is worth it. You can play at medium, but it will definitely dip below 30 in combat. So just keeping it on low and keeping FSR on balanced or on performance is probably the best way to play this game. And it still looks pretty good compared to the original, of course. Uh, so throughout the video, I'm going to try out different FSR settings going to ultra performance, performance, balance, quality. We are also going to check out XCSS and dynamic resolution as well as lowering the actual resolution of the game. So currently, on ultra performance, as you can see, uh, in some areas I'm getting even up to 50 FPS. But as soon as I start running around or I get into combat, it will dip below 40 uh, to, to around 30, sometimes even below 30. But this is still very much playable. Now, in terms of controls, this game does have full controller support on the Steam Deck. Uh, it originally re released for the PlayStation 1 or 2, maybe 2. So uh, it was meant to be played with a controller, with a joystick. Uh, and in terms of battery life, it will be around an hour and 20 minutes on the original LCD Steam Deck. Um, now keep in mind that my Steam Deck is over two years old, so the battery life is probably not at 100%, so your mileage may vary. And you're definitely getting at least one more hour on the OLED Steam Deck. Going into FSR performance mode, we are dipping into the high 30s low 40s maybe um, but again as soon as you get into some kind of combat uh, it will start to, to drop down uh, regardless this is uh, pretty much what you need for this type of game because yeah there is combat but it's not really that high intensive um, it's more about running around exploring um, trying to, to figure out what the story is So the game does offer uh, several upscaling options, so one of them being FSR 3. It also has FSR 1 for some reason, so you can try between that, but I think FSR 3 is a much better implementation and it works uh, quite well in this game as well. Uh, it also offers XCSS and I did not notice much of a difference between XCSS uh, and uh, FSR set to balanced, uh, but I do prefer FSR. It seems like it's doing quite a good job in this game. Now in this video you're going to see me run around the town, this is about 30 minutes into the game. I've played for I think an hour and a half, maybe maybe two hours totally uh, while recording this video and my Steam Deck has not crashed, it has not overheated. You can see that the GPU is going to about 82, 83 degrees, um, but uh, still the Steam Deck uh, held its ground and uh, the game is actually performing quite well. I did also want to try different options, so we are going to test out um, XSS in this next clip here. And um, let me know if you can tell the difference between XSS and performance. I really cannot. Maybe X XSS is just a slight bit worse, but it's definitely come a long way si uh, since what it was a couple of months ago. So you can pretty much just 
decide for yourself maybe there's a couple of uh, maybe there's a one or two fps difference between the two And between all of these options, the battery life pretty much stays the same. Um, only when we do drop the resolution, it will give you about 10-15 minutes more. Um, next up, we're testing the dynamic resolution option. So uh, dynamic scalability is what it's called in the game. Basically, uh, if you set it to 60 FPS, it's going to try to lower the resolution to keep up the frames. It never really does go to 60 uh, and it does have some stuttering. So it's really not the best options between this uh, FSR and XCSS, I prefer to use the, the upscalers. Um, so the dynamic resolution, really, I cannot rec recommend this option. Um, it is, you can use it, but it's really not uh, that much, that great. Uh, FSR 3 is far superior option uh, than this. If you don't want to have any artifacts on the screen, you can use it, but I would still choose FSR 3 over this. And finally, we have the game set to 1024 by 768 with the Steam Deck's FSR turned on, FSR 3 set to Ultra Performance, and I'm trying to reach 60 here, which is a bit ambitious. Uh, I do reach 60 in some scenes, but as soon as you start running or you start doing some actions, it will drop down to 50 or even below 50. Uh, it does not look great at all, but it is a way to play this with higher FPS if you wanted to. So that about covers it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, do check out Silent Hill 2 Remake and let me know in the comments if this is a game that you would be playing on your Steam Deck. I hope this video did a good job of showcasing how it runs on the Steam Deck and I'll see you guys in the next video.